start because uh, well, it's in the 50s right now. It was in the 40s earlier. It's been super windy the last several days. So I'll flip this camera around a second, show you all what I'm doing today. But I didn't really want to be out here when it was super windy and park my truck under this. So here's what we're doing. We are cleaning up this hillside. Zoom in a little bit. So we got on this end over here, we got some down trees. There's a lot of down trees past there. There's garbage, of course, branches and limbs. Alright, so we're almost done. You can see the fancy attire. I'm trying to keep as much of that poison off me as I can, especially out of my eyes. Don't think I'm really worried about. So here we're just about done. Just got these limbs to pick up. And then we come back tomorrow and I'll cut this hillside with the altos. This is the little bit that I did in the last video. So this time we'll catch basically from this tree down. We'll come up just below some of those trees. We'll have room to get up in between the pole and there's a big pile of stuff there. And we'll take it all the way around the parking lot to the corner. So that's what we piled in there. Stomped it down. So the front's a little bit up over the cab. The back's, uh, it's not full. I could fit a little bit more in there. But we got done what they wanted done. Hey everybody. So out doing the first quote for a big hillside maintenance project that'll take the altos half a day to do. I'm gonna turn the camera around and uh, show you all what it is. So here we are at the top of one hill. 
it's down to that pond and then up to that tree line over there to down that tree line to that gate and back up here to the road so it's about five acres of up and down the alto should be able to do it pretty well i can actually probably use the toro on some of it so we'll see i gave him price we'll see what he says so I'll show you more of it there's two spots there's a pond on one end and then this end where the gate little arbor thing is let me get around to it Some parts are steeper than others, obviously. I think the Toro can do most of that. This side, maybe, maybe not. It's too tall for the Toros right now, but the Altos could do it. You know, there's a pond down there. And it's pretty tall and thick up here. So it comes out to this little driveway, those trees. I guess there's a, yeah, there's a foundation in there somewhere. comes down up to this this obviously needs to be the altos that's too steep so anyway that's our property that hopefully we'll uh we'll get the go ahead on all right so time for a rant went yesterday had a call from someone to come look at her property and her neighbors uh sorry that you're looking at nothing but who wants to see my ugly mug um anyway i got a call went and looked at her property beautiful home nice nice property it hadn't been cut in a couple of weeks <clears throat> so talked to both the one lady and the neighbor gave the first lady a price she said it was ten dollars more than she was paying i'm like well you're dissatisfied with your current service um i didn't say that but i was thinking it I'm like you're dissatisfied with your service they don't clearly don't come on a regular schedule based on the fact that it's been two weeks since it's been cut and that was not what she had agreed to the weed eating was done the line trimmer was done horribly they were scalping it down to the ground <clears throat> skipping things so anyway she was iffy she's like well i have someone else coming at two let me see what he gives me for a price i said okay so i went and talked to the lady next door gave her the price she hired me on the spot and said you know can you do it tomorrow? And I said, yes. So seven o'clock last night, I get a phone call that she was letting me go. I hadn't even started service yet. <laughs> and she let me go because the, the, the company that came, well, not even a company, the guy that came to give the first woman a price matched the $40 cut she was paying. So she hired him, told the neighbor about it. So she hired him too. So, lost a job without even starting it. That's just fantastic. <laughs> oh, well. Can't win them all. And, uh, yeah, I haven't heard back from the gentleman with the large hillside field that I showed you earlier in the video. So, yep, one of those weeks. All right. Off to mow some commercial properties. All right, so I'm not sure I'm even going to post this, um, but this has really got me aggravated. This is why, you know, back in Florida, I, I had everybody on contract. The, uh, the idea that you would hire somebody and then let them go a few hours later because you found a better price is just completely foreign to me. I'm really trying to bite my tongue here on something. <clears throat> it's uh, it's really frustrating trying to build a business. You know your value. You know what it costs to be in business. You know you know what you need to make. You know what you need to charge on a man hour basis to to make a decent profit. Again, I'm not trying to hit these people up at 20% profit margins. But I'm not doing it for 3% either. So I'm going to do a quick drive-by of the home. Homes. Well, I'm only going to do one of them. The one that actually 
hired and fired me, you know, a couple hours later. And it is this house up on the left, right here. So it was just cut. Didn't take any debris with them. Just stacked it all up. Didn't blow off. And it looks like garbage. This is what you get. This is what you get. It, it I mean, look at this. Didn't, didn't blow off the curbside. Didn't edge anything. So anyway, those were the two homes. And I shouldn't let it get to me, but I am. It, it, it really bothers me. Again, th these are people that have beautiful homes, a really nice neighborhood, you know, 20 bucks a month is about what it came down to, isn't gonna make or break them. So anyway, sorry for venting. I may not even post this, but I just might. <laughs> At least there's beautiful views here. All right, so setting my frustration aside, got this commercial place, got these hedges to trim.
as they say, I'm thankful it's Friday because this has not been a great day. Like I said, got fired from a job. I didn't even start. Spent way too much time on a, a commercial property. And it wasn't, I didn't underbid it. I just was doing stuff for him. That's not even part of the deal. Just got carried away because I'm like, well, I got extra time. May as well do something. So I did that. Now I've got that going on. So that's not how you want to end the Friday. And of course, it's the one day I didn't bring my impact drill, wrench, whatever. So we've got to take it off of the four-way. All right.